Hey guys, in here, this is Time Pro Skater 2. Yep, we're actually doing this marathon and we're going with Time Pro Skater 2. But first, let me turn off the music because I don't want the fucking soundtrack to happen. Now, I was able to get the sounds to work and not have the music play. So, I don't have to worry about putting music in this video or anything like that. Which sucks because I can't, I'm having trouble finding the music. Anyway. There's a create a skater. I'll create my skater right now. All right. So let's begin with the create skater that I made in career mode, because that's where we'll begin. So here's my beautiful creation. He is very, very not generic. Yep. Look at that blue fedora he has for no fucking reason. That's my skater, and he's very even. It's Tony Hawk, possibly the most influential skateboarder of all time. Tony has invented hundreds of tricks, including the Tailfish Madonna 700 and Tony, and is the only person to land a 900. At 23, Hey Apollo, Brazil's Bob Burnquist has no equal since blah 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 blah. You get the I fucking dear. It's all bios of their years from the point Time for Skater 2 was made. You even have Steve Cabello, Kareem Campbell, Vern Glifberg, Eric Costin, Bucky Lassick, Ronnie Mullen. Chad Muska, Andrew Reynolds, Geoff Rowley, and Elisa Steamer, and of course, Jamie Thomas. But we're playing this as my character, because why not? And we start off this grand let's play with the first level, which is the hangar. And sadly, it's going to be one level apart because there's a lot to cover for a good reason. Let's begin. As you can see, there is a lot more scores, there's a lot more goals. There's now a six score, there's barrel hunts, there's pilot wings, there's nose grinds over the pipe, yep, there's now tricks to do on the gaps. There's all sorts of shit, I'm doing it right now. First of all, the nose grind, easy. Then, just trying to get some points, make sure we know what we're doing. I do get the basic points, and I do my best to get through this. There's also money. Instead of being able to get your stats and shit from normal crap, you don't have to get them by buying them. And from getting that, you have to do goals and get the money that's around here a lot. And by doing that, you'll actually be able to buy stats, boards, all sorts of shit. And as you can see, I now have to see the tape and 10,000 points. Now a lot has changed, for instance, there is now the inclusion of manuals, so making combos is going to be a lot more easier for me, but for some reason I am doing fucking horrible in this game right now, I don't know why, I should be doing good. And of course I don't know how to land a big drop, I am sorry. As far as I remember, the Big Drop isn't really implemented much in Tony Hawk, except for this game and Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD. And the Big Drop is actually not very easy to pull in this game. In HD, it's very easy. In this one, it's not. Um, let me explain. In order to land a Big Drop, you need to either hold the X button during your drop, do a manual, as you do your drop, or pull up a grind, if you're lucky. It's actually really difficult to actually pull off landing a big drop, and there's apparently stats that you need to do the big, big drops, not the small ones. You know, I did the barrel hunt, and there it is, the manual. Now that we have the manual, it's now going to be in every single Tony Hawk game ever made. And so far we've done so pretty good so far, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's something. Anyway. Now I could have gone the hang time gap right there, but for some reason, like, when you do the nose ground, nose grind one, it only counts the nose grind goal. It doesn't count it as a fucking gap. I don't know why. I honestly don't. 
Oh, well, look, special tricks that I didn't mean to do. I don't know how I did it. Yep, I still don't know how to do special tricks, but don't worry, they're not too important right now. They get important later on, and I am going to be using them a lot later on. But right now, they're not important. There is no change in this Let's Play compared to the last one, which is Time for a Skater. Um, in this one, instead of doing one skater, I am actually going to change between skaters. I'm actually going to do one level, one skater. Which means you're only seeing my created character on this level. That's fine, that's fine. I, I don't really care. It looks like shit anyway, so... I don't care, and I don't matter, that, you know, my skater, the one I created with my blood, is only going to be used once. Besides, I want to show off the other skaters, and, in this game, this is the only game where it becomes important that you play as every skater, instead of just one. And you will find out when I have to deal with that shit pretty soon in this part. But right now, that's it for this second run. I have been the pro score. I have done a few other things. I've even got some money. And I do need to get all the money. This isn't 100% let's play, like always. Alright, so, there's a few cash available left. There's school 2, which is the one everyone loves. Compared to school one, you bastards. Anyway, for this one, I just focus on like the seven. I focus on the points, but getting the points is actually not that hard. I make it look hard here because of the fact that I haven't played this game in a while, and I'm not exactly completely used to the layout yet. But, but I don't think this is hard at all, and it really isn't hard. With the manual, it actually becomes very easy, because all you have to do is just manual a lot and grind a lot. The only, di the only thing that's difficult is to keep your fucking balance, because while you have a bar for the manual, you don't have a bar for grinds. You have to tell that by the way your character is moving, and for the most part, you won't be able to tell because of the way the camera is angled and because of certain things and yada yada yada. So being able to know when you're about to fall off a grind is hard. A manual, however, is piss easy because of the fact it gives you a bar. Which like gets implemented into the grinds because people actually do find it difficult to tell when they're going to bail or not by the tilts. Anyway. So I'm going a lot. I had quite a fucking day. When it comes right down to the points with this one, I try to get as many gaps as possible. Because gaps are important. They give you a lot of help in the combos and points. And I do that here. And there we go. I beat it. 100%. The hangar is done, right? I don't have to do the hangar anymore. Well, for the most part, that's true. You don't have to do the hangar again because you've already 100% of the game, like the, the fucking thing said. You already 100% of this level. You got all the goals and you got all the fucking cash, so you're done. And hey, I can put my name in here and put my big points in. So that's it, right? That's it for this part. Pretty short part, but. Hey, after I spend some cash, that, that'll make like 12 minutes, and that's it. I'm done. Now we move on to the next level, which is skill 2. Okay. Let's just uh, upgrade my stats. Now, I like to be even a lot of the time, which for most people is really stupid. I like to put it on all on air and speed and ollie and all that shit. I put it all on even. But I keep the one called Switch last. Because Switch is actually very useless in my opinion. Anyway, you think that's it? 
you'd think you just go to the next level, 100% there, go for the levels and you're done, right? Well, no. We're not done. There is more. Let me show you why there is more. Because this is not... It's, these little things with the manuals and the creative characters and all that shit, they're not the only things that have changed with Tokyo Pro Skater. Oh no! Remember when I said that uh, back then gaps weren't very important? Well, you have a gap checklist now. And yes, gaps are very important in this game. You are going to be doing all of them if you're actually going to 100% this entire game. And in order for me to do this entire 100% Let's Play, I do have to show you every single fucking gap. I'll also tell you there are lip tricks, but doing a lip trick is very difficult to pull. Because there are specific things that you need to do, like being very straight. And it just makes it very annoying to pull off. But anyway, let's begin the gaps. First gap is pretty easy, not too difficult. Just go up here, and there you go. It's cold up here. Next. This one's more difficult. Make a very sharp jump, and you will land this one. It's very difficult, and you need a lot of skill. But if you're lucky, you'll get that gap. Next. This gap is... Well, that gap I tried doing a lot, but I keep failing. I do land it with this grind, and luckily that's how I did it. Big light hopper. Next. Next one is not that bad. The next one is just this. It was just a big light hopper again. I don't know why that's a thing. I don't know why that gap's there. Anyway, this is a manual one. Yes, there are manual gaps, and that is the only one in this level. Next one is grind here, jump, grind that, there you go, rail guided missile. Next one is the, well, that, high stepping. It's now time for lip tricks. But first before I begin doing the rest of the tricks, it's time for the hardest part of this level, which is the small light hopper and the corner light. Now, it's not that hard to do this one if you got a good amount of stats, but because I don't, it's hard. You have to make this jump here to get your light, your little light hopper. Then you have to go all the way over here, jump it onto the big light hopper, and make it a very specific jump over here to make the, 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 the light corner. It's, it's harder than you think. It's harder than it looks, and it, it's going to take some practice. Anyway, the last one is pretty much really simple. It's lip tricks. Okay, it's not the last. This is not the last one, but lip tricks are pretty simple. You got one side, and you got the other side. Oh, and don't do that. I, I don't know why it happened, but that, that happens, and I just don't know why. Last gap, pretty simple. It's all lip tricks: upwind lip, the wind tunnel back wall, and the downhill wind. The downwind lip. And that's it. That's all the gaps. Very easy. Well, except for the light corner one, but if you got stats, it won't be that bad. Anyway, now that we're done, now that we have made it through this and gotten all the gaps, that is it for this part. Just like that. And there's a reason why I'm doing all the gaps, but you'll find out much later in this LP. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this LP as much as you enjoyed the first one, if you did enjoy it. Next time we play this Tony Hawk in School 2. And yes, gaps will be done. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.